would you like to have some oatmeal for breakfast that tastes 10 times better than overnight oats? Overnight oats, you put them in a jar, you add some liquid and some fruit, you know, seasonings, and you pop it in the fridge. You take it out the next morning and you eat it. And the texture is, eh, it's okay, it's healthy, but it's not like, oh, I can't wait to eat that, you know? But today I'm gonna show you how to do some baked oats, which go in the oven. Yes, they do cook for a little bit, but the result is amazing, I think. It is much more almost like banana bread. You know, with just enough sweetness, it is just, the texture is beautiful. It, it just satisfies. That's what we're doing today. And I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, here's our joke. Why do basketball players love oatmeal cookies? Because they can dunk them. <laughs> so our first ingredient, the most important, is the oatmeal. I'm using Bob's Red Mill Organic Rolled Oats, and I wanna just try to convince you to buy organic only because the conventional type, the regular brands, have glyphosate in them. And personally, I like to avoid pesticides, especially that one. I'm just gonna take a cup of this and just set it aside, and we'll have that ready to go in. Next up are our bananas. You wanna use the ripest ones you have. These have lots of nice brown spots, so these are gonna be nice and sweet. And this is basically all I'm using to sweeten this up. Well, along with some coconut milk, but we'll get into that in a bit. So just, we're gonna place our bananas into a bowl. And this one's got some bad spots, so I'm gonna cut that out. Nobody likes to use, eh. And there'll still be plenty in your dish. Now I'm just gonna take a potato masher and start mashing up the banana. You wanna get it nice and loose, right? Nice and, you know, very fluid-like. And uh, if you need a little practice, here's how you can get a little practice in. If you're enjoying this video, you can smash the like button. And that way you'll be really an expert when it comes time to make this recipe. Next, we're gonna put in a couple of eggs. Oh darn, that shell got in there. Let me pull that out. So what these eggs are gonna do is give this more of a cake-like feel to it. I'm gonna give that a little smash just to get it started. And then we're gonna move into using a whisk because it'll do a better job. Check out the vanilla extract we're using today. This is bourbon vanilla extract. I got this at Trader Joe's. Really good stuff. Let's pour some of that in there. Let's see this. Next up is our coconut milk, and this is gonna provide our recipe with some fat in it and a hint of sweetness because there's a little bit of sugar in this and it's gonna make it, you know, you're gonna have a well-balanced breakfast because now you've got some carbs, protein, and fat. So you can see here that the fat in the coconut milk has solidified a bit. So what I'd like to do is break it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put this in a pan of water and I'm just gonna heat it gently to melt it. Then I'll add that coconut milk to the mixture. Then take your whisk and blend everything up. Okay, now I'm gonna add the oatmeal to this. Just pour that in. And we're gonna add our flavorings. Next, we're gonna add some baking powder to this. This is gonna help it to rise and be more cake-like and just have a really nice texture. A pinch of salt. And I'm using nutmeg, but feel free to use cinnamon or both if you want and give that a nice little stir to mix everything up. Now I like adding apple to this, just a whole organic apple, leave the skin on the whole bit. You know, my grandpa used to say, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Now I don't know if that's true or it's just one of granny's myths. You like how I snuck that little joke in on you? Cut up your apple into bite-sized pieces and put in as much as you want and just drop it right in the batter. I'm adding some walnut pieces to this, uh, but feel free to add any type of nuts that you like, or even leave it out if you don't like any. So I've got a nine by nine baking dish here, and I'm going to kind of grease it up a little bit so that my oatmeal doesn't stick to the, to the bottom of the dish, okay? So just take some of this coconut oil and rub it in, and this goes right along with the coconut milk flavor. Slightly sweet and good fats. All right, I'm gonna pour this in, and then I'll spread it out. 
and this is going in the oven, 350 for, uh, we'll check it at 25 minutes, maybe 20. We'll just look at it and see where it's at. When this comes out of the oven, and mine came out at about 30 minutes, sometimes it goes an extra five, just depends on how, how hot your oven is. All right, so I like to serve this up with a little protein. Feel free to use any protein you like, but I'm using collagen peptides. So what I like to do is take some yogurt, today I'm using goat yogurt, and adding the protein to that and mixing it up beforehand and then adding it to the oatmeal. Give that a good stir and it's ready to go. This adds a nice amount of protein to your oatmeal and it's a great way to start your day. And if you want, feel free to add a little warm coconut milk to that if you want it a little thinner. I think it's always a great idea to add a little fresh fruit like blueberries. And this tastes so delicious, it's nice and warm out of the oven. Everything is just flavorful. It's got a little crunch with the walnuts. It's really delicious and satisfying. And if you're not crazy about oatmeal and you wanna try a different recipe, I think you should check out my breakfast burrito. It is amazing. Go ahead and click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to this recipe. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You know how you can let me know? By smashing the like button. I really appreciate that. And if you'd like to leave me a comment, maybe a joke, I might feature it in the next video. So go ahead and leave one down there. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.